we're now focusing on this pad sound and I've just tried to even out some of the velocities uh, previously they were a little bit kind of too contrasting and it meant to have like really obvious volume dips so let's have a listen to this pad sound now okay these ones are still a little bit quiet there so I'll just bring their volume up to be close to the others some things you do want to really play with the velocity with and other things if you're trying to create a swell within a sound more like a sort of crescendo that's easier done with a volume automation velocity is all about how quiet a sound is at the start and if we want the sound to grow then there's other ways to do that it's not really with velocity so let's get these all more or less the same and I'm going to concentrate on this area at the end where the chords seem to change a little bit too quickly they don't seem to flow into each other enough Okay, so they should sound more like one evolving or growing chord as the, the note of the pitch goes up. So what I'm going to do is go to the sound, which is in Halion. So select the pad sound there and then open up the Halion instrument. And let's see what we can do to improve that little section there. So I might just loop this bit. So I'm just going to click on here and press Shift and G. Okay. Now I can start messing with the attack. So the sound takes a little bit longer to blend in. That gives us a little bit of movement. And again, if we write about this in the log, we can get marks for doing that. And on the release, I'm just going to put the release up slightly as well. So it sounds it's much more of a gentle, um, slowly sort of growing synth. Remember we need to turn the natural reverb off that's on the sound. And um, we can maybe look at this cutoff, see if we can make it slightly more top endy. That's a bit nicer, that sounds a bit more 80s. Resonance we can play with. Somewhere about there. Okay, let's listen to that back in the mix, see how that's working. <laughs> It's getting a little bit lost in the background, so let's bring its level up slightly. Okay, it's actually getting lost because of its EQ. It shares a lot of frequencies with some of the other instruments that we've got. So let's just open up the EQ for that sound and see if we can make it uh, clash a little less and sing out more against the other instruments. <laughs> The biggest problem with this pad sound is that it really interferes with the vocal, so I don't want to make it too prominent. I'm going to give it a tiny lift there, and I'm going to try cutting some of the the mid section here, or the low mid, around about from 100 up to 500, see if I can make room for a little bit more of the, the vocal to cut through. It's almost like I'm notching a space out for the vocal. <laughs> turn up this section here it almost obliterates the vocal it makes it harder to hear the vocal so if I get rid of that bit a little bit the vocal cuts through slightly more so you can experiment with that and you really need to kind of trust your own ears and listen in your headphones or on a set of speakers and see what difference it's actually making but look how subtle my changes are they're not massive EQ cuts they're not like all the way down to the bottom they're just about as far as this. Okay, if we have to start taking things all the way down to here, it means we're kind of probably barking up the wrong tree, and what we're doing isn't really having the effect we want it to. Okay, so that's improved that sound slightly, um, and I maybe would actually with the EQ just roll off a little bit of bass as well. So I just turn that down slightly there, um, just to to make it more kind of tinny at the top, and we might do a similar sort of treatment that we did to make it sound a little bit more 12 bit maybe add a little bit of distortion to it to give it some grit or some grain but overall I'm a little bit happy with the way the sound blends now <laughs> 